For those of you who have any sort of knowledge when it comes to collecting basketball cards, you would know that the Michael Jordan rookie card is basically the holy grail in that particular community. It might not necessarily be the most expensive card, I mean don't get me wrong, it does cost a pretty penny, but there are several cards with a higher price tag. But without question, it's certainly the most highly sought after. If you're looking to obtain a respectable collection, this has to be on your priority list. The importance of this card, along with its extreme popularity, is second to none. But there is one card out there that is probably the most unusual of any of them. And it's not because of the player featured on the front. It's because of what the photographer happened to capture in the background. Meet Steven Zarance. He is a huge fan of true crime and is an author who writes crime novels. And in late 2018, an old murder case caught his attention. The infamous story of the Menendez brothers. Brothers who murdered their parents in their Beverly Hills mansion in the year of 1989. And their motive was insurance money that they knew they would receive for their parents' death. And they definitely did not hesitate to utilize that money by immediately going on a lavish spending spree, buying expensive cars, Rolex watches, clothes, and going on luxurious vacation trips, ultimately spending up to around $700,000. And for some reason, this story intrigued Steven. No, not the murdering part, but the crazy shopping spree itself. He and his friend thought it would be kind of fun to find proof that the brothers actually did those things that the court documents said they did. So as they were going through the records of the Menendez brothers' spendings, they noticed something interesting. They saw that the brothers happened to purchase courtside tickets to a New York Knicks game at Madison Square Garden. So Steven Zarantz thought that he might have found a potential clue in order to prove that the Menendez brothers did go on a wild shopping spree. And what he needed was photographic evidence of them at the game. So his first initial instinct was just to simply look up images online of that specific 1989 Knicks game, hoping that he would spot the notorious brothers in the crowd. But he had no luck, until Steven came up with a brilliant idea. He suggested that he and his friend go on eBay and buy a box of basketball cards from around that year of the murders and see if they can come across a card that the brothers might be in. And amazingly, the plan actually worked. In the pile of 1990-91 hoops cards they bought on eBay, they finally got a match and found what they were looking for. A card that featured the two evil brothers sitting in the front row, which was a Mark Jackson trading card. Zarantz and his friend were extremely ecstatic about their discovery and immediately posted it on Twitter. Quote, Mood, my Mark Jackson basketball card with cameos from the Menendez brothers in the background, posted on August 12th, 2018. But unfortunately, at that time, the post was barely even noticed, not getting much attention at all. Until months later in December, when a different person posted his findings on Reddit, which caught the attention of another person, a guy named John Rosenberger. Quote, Reddit is mostly bad, but the other day, I learned on that website that the Menendez brothers are in the background of this basketball card and that logistically, this would be between when they killed their parents and when they were arrested and I cannot stop thinking about it. And then, soon after, Darren Ravel added, This checks out. The Menendez murder happened August 20th, 1989. The brothers were apprehended March 1990. The photo was taken at Madison Square Garden in the 1989-90 season, and the card set came out before the 1990-91 season. And another reason why it is proof that this photo was taken between the time of the murder and the time they were arrested was because it was known that Mark Jackson wore that knee brace during the 1989-90 season. Then, finally, this incredible discovery began to receive some notoriety, eventually getting national attention by CNN and the Washington Post. People were amazed by this story, and some wanted to buy one of the Mark Jackson cards for themselves. Initially, before this blew up, the card cost only around 10 cents a piece, 
but the appearances by the brothers in the background actually boosted up the value of the card, selling for around $20 a piece just because of this discovery. But then, ultimately, eBay cancelled the auctions because they said that they don't sell anything that is affiliated with murders or serial killers. Eventually, this story got so big that it made its way to the Menendez brothers themselves who were incarcerated in a San Diego prison. And one of the brothers, Lyle, officially confirmed that it was he and his brother Eric sitting courtside at the game. Quote, I just see myself in the audience there with Eric. It's just like, wow. They obviously didn't capture it on that card on purpose, but it shocked me. It's amazing that somebody spotted it. And as for Steven Zarantz, who initially spotted it, even though his post didn't really blow up, he had this to say, quote, I'm just glad it went viral. Really, it's a cool little tidbit. Alright guys, I guess you never really know what could be hidden in plain sight. Make sure to comment down below what you think of this weird story, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.